Hi guys, welcome to this channel. It's Max from the Next Creation. If it's your first time come across this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell. It's always very important. It's the only way that you'll be supporting this channel. In today's video, we are going to look at what we call repatriation. Someone asked me a question. If I'm deported back to my country in case termination of the contract in case of anything that happens. Who bears the cost of the repatriation? Or who bears the cost of deportation back to my country? Remember, I talked about the services that are being introduced in the uh, Metro H2 according to the 17 services that we are being introduced in the new Metro H app. And one of the services that is being introduced in Metro H app is what you call search and follow. What does it mean? That in case you get to run away from your employer, who gave you the visa and you run away from the, the company without or you run with his residence permit under his sponsorship and without his permission, he can trace you using what you call a metrash and he can directly report you to what you call the authorities and everyone, you know, we are looking at a digital, digital error that everything or every department here in Qatar that is responsible will get to know of your way about and running away from your company. And you'll, you'll end up fa uh, facing what we call charges in one way or the other. So in this case, we want us to look at what we call repatriation or deportation, uh, uh, deportation in Qatar. What does it mean to deport, to, to deport you or to repatriate you? There are scenarios, remember, we talk about repatriation. There's a lot of things that we may lead to repatriation or deportation back to your country. One of if one of, of the one of them is that if you fail medicals, medical fitness tests, then they will, you will be deported back to your country. That is one way. In case you are being terminated by the company, you could, they will deport you back. In case you are drunk or you do not follow what you call, if you do not follow the the dues of the country or you get to learn in tr trouble in one way or the other. Things that are not called for, activities that are not called for, they will definitely put you back in the country. But again, the question is that, who bears the charges of the depreciation? Who, who bears the charges? These are two different scenarios that we may try to understand or we may want to understand. There is a scenario where you are being deported because of the medical fitness test. If you fail the medicals, if you're being terminated by your employer, your employer has the obligation or has every obligation to report you back to your desk or your, your, next, your nearest airport of recruitment. So if you came from Ghana, if you came from Uganda, if you came from Tanzania or Kenya, they will definitely, or Rwanda or any other country, or if you came from Nepal, you came from Bangladesh, if you came from Pakistan, they will definitely report you back to that airport where from your country where they, they recruited you from. That is at one scenario of one or that we may talk about. However, something that we need also to understand, there's a situation whereby you get to run away from your company, you get to be recruited from to another company. You know, before you get to work to another company, make sure that your ID is being is being changed from one sponsor to another. But if you get to if you get to run away from your company and you go to work for another company without the consent of your former employer, if under what you call search and follow, if you are being caught by authorities, that means that new company that you are working for, which is not your real recruiter for your country, will bear all the cost to take you back to your country. It will pay up all the repatriation and deportation, what you call the repatriation or deportation expenses back to your country. Because that company also that is making you work for it without the consent of the former employer or without even the proper channels being text is getting against what you call article, is getting against what you call the articles that govern what you call the repatriation and the, the deportation in Qatar. Remember, under that, under that we just have to look at what you call article number 19 of the Qatar labor law, which regards deportation and repatriation of what you call a worker or an employee in Qatar in that scenario. However, we are also going to look at another situation. Let's say for example, Let's say, for example, uh, in case that organization is unknown, 
Let's say, for example, you ran away from your company and you are working somewhere. Let's say, for example, you are doing part-time in some other organization. You will keep on moving to do part-time to get money. So meaning that the exact organization that you are working for is not known. Right. So what will happen if your employer reports you to the authorities, the directories of affairs, affairs of the director of the passport, what do they do? That means for the repatriation cost will definitely be bared by what you call your recruiter. A person or that company that recruited you from your company, from your country of origin, will be the one to pay up the cost of deportation or repatriation back to your country. That is according to the labor law or according to the ministerial decisions or according to what you call the labor law in Qatar. Then we look at a situation whereby when you the person you are caught and you are to be repatriated let's say for example in this situation the cause of the repatriation it's because of you as an individual let's say because of the wrongdoing and you're supposed to go back to your country what will happen and you do not have any money with you you do not have the money in the country to, to pay up your ticket to repatriation back your country. What is going to happen? In that situation, it means that the company that recruited you from your country of origin will have to pay up what you call the repatriation cost. Where does the trick, where is the trick coming in right in all what we are talking about? It all goes back to the seven services that we are being introduced in what we call metrash 2. For people who have metrash, what you call search and follow. In that, in case you get run away from your employer, your employer will alert, will alert, will alert the Minister of Interior that such such kind of so number I did this run away from my company without my permission. That means when they get you, you and where you are working from. If they get to trace what company you are working for without the former consent, the consent of the former employer, then they'll have to pay up the repatriation cost. Or even yourself, you are going to pay up the repatriation cost if they definitely know that you have money with you, which is quite something that you should all understand. However, if it's not anything of that sort, let's say, for example, is you are being terminated or you are... Uh, because of the medicals, then that means the company that recruited you has to repatriate or deport you back to your country. Most of you, you asking me, by the way, if for example, the country or the government gets to deport you back, no, it will not pay. Yes, at that time, someone may be taken out, deported out of the country, but still the government will have to demand the charges of the ticket from the company that recruited you because already they have you in the system. Let's say, for example, you are caught drunk. You caught drunk outside. Or you caught doing what is not right. And the government decides you, and you are seemingly being a threat to the government or being a threat to the people in the community. The government will do the deportation very fast back to the nearest airport in your country. Then after deporting you, it will come back and put all the charges that we are used for deportation to your former company that recruited you. Then they will have to pay up in that case. So hope I've tried to share up something for you for someone who asked about deportation and repatriation in Qatar. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. By the way, if it's your first time, I'm a first time to come across this channel, support this channel by subscribing and commenting in the subsection i will always be more than happy to get back to you thank you so much see you again in the next video